Hi there, this is Amanda, and today I am on day five of my vlogging challenge. And today I want to talk about memory empowerment. You know, it's so important to be have a positive outlook on life, and uh, it's hard to actually succeed in a business unless you have that kind of mentality. Uh, you know, I think of, there's so many examples, but an example I want to bring up to you is like, have you ever been to KFC? Colonel Sanders started out many years ago, and you know, his friends loved his chicken. And so, instead, at 65, he was only collecting a very small security check. And, you know, there had to be more, right? So his plan was to sell his chicken recipe and uh, you know he got 1009 rejections before he ever received a yes that is called the power of positive thinking <laughs> because you know how many people get no after no after no and eventually quit well he got 1,009 no's before he got a yes. And how big did that, I mean, it's still to, the, to this day, is still a great place to get chicken. Maybe it's not healthy, but it's certainly yummy. <laughs> so, how are you thinking about your situation? I know when I was younger, Garfield was one of my favorite characters, and I can still draw him to this day because I liked him so much, and I read all his books, the guy that wrote it, and I don't even know who that is. But anyways, I read all the books, and you know, my mindset was that Mondays were bad, and that nothing ever happened good on Mondays. But you know what? I made a choice back then, whether I knew it or not, to make Mondays bad. So every day you wake up, you have a choice to either make, either to have a good day or to have the best day of your life every day of your life. So I challenge you to have the best day of your life every day. And that is by saying aloud every day, this is going to be the best day of my life. Because you know, it's so important to think it out loud. Think about your day. You know, even if the circumstances around it are bad, there has to be something good in your day that you can find. Because you know, the successful people find and count the things that were good in their day, find the things and count the good in their employees. Because positive people succeed in life a lot more than negative people do. And the negative people usually somewhere in their life there is really bad stuff happening in their life. I want to leave you with this one thing and that is it's uh, something uh, it's a quote and that is summing it all up friends I'd say you you I'd say you'll do best by filling your mind and Meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, and the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise and not to curse. Put it into practice. So what are you meditating on today? What are you concentrating on? You know, one of the most... <laughs> I heard Bob Harrison say this in something that I'm listening to right now. You can find a silver lining in everything. And this is, I thought was so funny, was even a watch is right twice a day. Even a broken watch is right twice a day. Think on that. So if you can find a silver lining in a broken watch, then you can find a silver lining in anything. And you know, you have to deal with the negatives in life. But focus on the positives because when you think of positive when you're thinking positively, you have a better chance of having more creativity and more positive 
outcomes in the negative areas too. So I hope this is helpful and I really encourage you to ha have success in life, to have positive memory empowerment. So have a great day and see you on the next video.